What's up, guys? Welcome back to Lanes and Golf. As always, I'm Andrew. Um, we're just going to do a pretty quick video right here talking about the PPP Tour um, and the PPP Open that's coming up um, here in the next few weeks. If you don't know what the PPP Tour is, you can look it up on Instagram. It's called the PPP Tour. Um, basically, we've posted pretty consistently there. Uh, we do tournaments uh, basically every two to three months. Um, it's about 16 of our friends from high school that we've always had a group text with and we decided we're gonna finally uh, play a tournament a year and then it kind of turned into four tournaments a year so we started this thing called the PPP tour so yeah that's basically in a nutshell um, we, I try to film and uh, every single one and put it up on the channel uh, you can watch the most latest one the players that we had uh, just a few months ago um, and we're coming up on the second annual uh, PPP open and that'll complete a full year we've been doing this since last year and that's what I'm gonna kind of talk about today is how uh, everybody's pairing is gonna kind of complement each other or not complement each other um, and then talk about what groups are playing with who so first uh, teeing off on our first tee time we have Bryant uh, Chandler and John Briley that's our first team um, and they'll be teeing off with Ryan Barry and John Fanning so basically we put those two teams in there because Bryant and Ryan are actually our uh, number one and number two ranked in the tour right now. So they kind of get honors and go go ahead and get on that first tee. We also paired them against each other as well to hopefully play off each other and maybe bring the best out of each other or maybe bring more pressure onto one another since they both know they're one and two ranked. Um, so we thought it would be interesting. And now let's talk about how Bryant and John Briley and Ryan and John Fanning are going to play with each other and how they're going to play off each other or not play off each other very well. Um, Bryant, first of all, Bryant and John Briley, uh, they've already played together this last tournament at the Playas. Uh, you can see that linked right here. So I think they'll have good chemistry overall. I know John has improved his game a lot as well as John Fanning. And that's where I'll talk about now is how John Fanning can help out Ryan. John Fanning definitely has the most uh, improved game on the tour right now. Um, and so hopefully they'll play off each other pretty well. Right now I kind of got Ryan and Fanning being the better of the two. Um, they're not playing off match play or anything like that. It's all stroke play. Um, I'm just kind of basing it off of who they're paired up with. Um, moving on, we got Brandon Benson and Daniel Milligan. Uh, also paired with uh, Corey Schaefer and Taylor Ride. This is a solid grouping as well. Um, you got that chemistry between Brandon Benson and Daniel Milligan that is unheard of uh, throughout centuries. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, and then you got Corey Schaefer and Taylor Ride. Um, and they lately, apparently, they've just been clicking is what I've heard. Um, they've Taylor Ride has been on the range doing it. He's, he's just trying to get it done, you know. He's trying to win. Um, and, and I don't know what lit a fire in him, but he's ready to go. Uh, Shafe and Taylor Ride, I think they'll play off each other pretty well. I know Taylor Ride's uh, iron game is strong. For them, it's about how they can get off the tee, you know. Um, anything after that, I think they'd be fine. And then moving on to Brandon and Daniel. Um, I know Brandon can hit it a quarter mile off the tee. Um, he just needs to make sure that slice doesn't come into play. Then I, iron wise, I know Dan has some iron shots in his bag. Um, chipping around the green stuff like that in short game I know Brandon can do it it's just a matter if he can be consistent or if Dan can pick up the slack from that but overall I think that's a great little pairing right here right now I think I got Shafe and Taylor Ride in that pairing as well because I haven't seen Daniel play in a while and I know he hasn't played golf a lot uh, consistently as a lot of the other guys so that could be a big factor then moving on to Max and Cody um, and then also with me and McGugan um, so it's Max Yarbo, Cody Azar. Uh, I think they have probably the, the best team chemistry um, of anybody on the tour. Uh, I don't know. I don't know exactly why, uh, but they they just always seem to click, you know. And then obviously with myself and uh, Austin McGugan, um, I've never actually played around with them, so we don't have much team chemistry. But I know his game from what everybody has told me, and I know how to complement it. So I think we'll be all right. Um, obviously, I'm going to take myself and Austin McGugan as the favorite for that one. Um, Max and Cody. I, I haven't really seen Max off the tee so much, so I don't really know. But I know Cody can stay pretty consistent with his driver. So as long as he does that, um, I think they'll be fine there. 
Then for iron wise, Max would have to pick up the slack because Cody's hit or miss on those. But around the greens, Cody can really he can he can putt lights out um, is what it is. So that's the only thing I would be worried about um, for the other guys in the field is that Cody can putt like nobody's business. Um, so as long as Max has the iron game, I think they'll be really solid. And then moving on to our last few pairings, we got Corey Anderson, Liam Carney paired up with Jack Banda and Hayden Gregory. Corey Anderson's one of our most recent champs, um, so I know he has kind of that on his shoulder that'll be weighing on him during this whole tournament. Then you got Liam, who comes out of nowhere in the madness and destroys me. Um, and he 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 may have bad shots at times, but he has fantastic shots at times, especially the driver out of nowhere. Then out of nowhere, I don't know where it goes. So Liam's hit or miss. Corey, I know he can destroy it off the tee, Pretty sure he might have a slice. It depends on if he can, he can control that. I'm not sure. Um, that's all I know about Corey's game so much. Um, Liam, I know around the greens, Corey's going to have to pick up the slack on that. And then looking at Jack and Hayden, I know Jack is probably the best golfer out of all of us, but he hasn't performed in big tournaments. So we'll see if he can do that. Hayden, um, he can come out of nowhere he's one of those guys you know he can show up when someone needs to show up it's a hit or miss kind of thing for him um i would say more that he shows up out of nowhere and surprises people and i think that's what jack kind of needs um me and jack are kind of in the same boat right now with how we haven't performed in the whole ppp tour so far so i think me and him are both really looking for redemption um and hopefully he can find that for himself um, but I'm sure I'll find it first. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the second annual PPP Open um, coming very soon on August 9th, 2020. Um, video will soon to follow after the tournament's concluded. If you want to go ahead and see who the winner was, it's probably on the Instagram. You can go follow that Instagram right now for all quicker updates. We post some funny stuff on there, breaking news about this, the tour, just dumb shit to be honest. But it's fun. You can also go to linksingolf.com to get merch and stuff like that. You can also follow me at linksingolf um, on Instagram and Twitter. And then if you want to hit a comment down below, let me know what you want to see. Um, maybe let me know any ideas for the tour you might have, as well as hit that subscribe button, like button. It goes a really long way for me. Thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, always bring your sticks, and let's grow the game.